What's going on guys, JSGC here and we are here for part number two of four of Manchester City's loan reports for the 2023-2024 season. So before I do crack on with this video, make sure like always if you are enjoying the content, do subscribe to my channel, it is free to subscribe, press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links there in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorship for any videos or any general business inquiries do leave a thumbs up and do let me know your thoughts as well in the comments below finally i want to say a big thank you to today's video sponsor which is brought to you by football prizes they're giving away a very special signed framed edison shirt along with 23 instant prizes that you can go and check out the links and details there in the description it is three pounds 99 per ticket and you can buy as many tickets as you want the more tickets that you buy the more likely it is that you could win that fantastic signed Edison shirt so do go check them out links and details there in the description so we're going to crack on with this loan report we're going to start off this video by speaking about Luke Mbete we're also going to be speaking about Jamal Baptiste Finley Burns Maximo Perone and Jan Kuto in today's video so Luke Mbete the 20 year old English centre back he's currently out on loan at Dutch side FC Den Bosch over in the Dutch second division he's currently played 17 games so far this season scoring two goals starting at 56 percent of all games so far for Den Bosch as well seems to be going well for Luke Mbete which is fantastic because uh, there's been times when he's been out on loan over the last couple of seasons where it's been a bit hit and miss when it comes to game time so it's good here for Luke to be able to find his confidence be getting more game time here uh, and hopefully he can really start to kick on over the coming year or two and uh, really be able to find himself in professional football but seems to have found himself a really good loan there in the Netherlands and seems to be doing really well as well which is fantastic to see now I also want to speak about Jamal Baptiste the 20 year old English centre back went to Belgium side Lommel SK part of the City Football Group for the first half of the season and he played just three times didn't really work out for him there in Belgium he went back to the EDS in January and he stayed with us ever since uh, he wasn't recalled his loan was only until the end of 2023 uh, so I presume that was to help Lommel SK uh, with any extra cover that they may need which I presume they're not needing that cover anymore and Jamal Baptiste returned back to the Manchester City elite development squad and will continue his progress from there and speaking of English centre-backs takes us on to Finley Burns the 20 year old English centre-back currently out on loan at Stevenage in League One in England currently made 32 appearances so far this season getting three assists not scored any goals started 68% of all games in League One so far this season as well and seems to be doing well with Stevenage once he was City young players and heading out to League One in England so far this season every player that's headed out that we've spoken about that's gone to League One seems to be going Going to League One, getting regular playing time and doing really well and it's no different there for Finley Burns as well. Stevenage still got an outside chance of potentially making the playoffs as well. So uh, yeah, he could well be if, if if things work out. Could end up getting uh, a bid towards being a championship player for next season which is what I presume Manchester City will be looking for when it comes to uh, potentially loaning Finley Burns out for next season. Now, moving on, I want to speak about Maximo Perone, the 21-year-old central midfielder from Argentina and has been loaned out to Spain with UD Las Palmas over in La Liga. Now, Perone has started 59% of all games in La Liga so far this season, making 24 appearances, not got any goals or any assists. Doesn't seem to be doing too shabby in La Liga as well. I imagine Manchester City will want to go and have a look at Perone again in pre-season and a Assess from there. Do bear in mind though, now that he is 21 years old, Perone, if he is to feature for Manchester City in our first team squad, he would have to be registered. So Manchester City, I don't think are going to want to do that until they're absolutely certain that Perone is going to be a City squad player. And I don't think he's too far away. I don't I don't I don't know where Manchester City are gonna go with Maximo Perone. He's had a good move to La Liga, he's doing well with Las Palmas. What else? Where else do you go? What else do you do with him? Maybe look at a loan in the Premier League to see where he's at in terms of the, the level and golf indifference between football here in England and in Spain. He seems to be doing absolutely fine in Spain. You Sometimes you've just got to take the risk. Sometimes you've got to look at a player and say they've done really well out on loan. We're exactly where we want this player to be at this age. 
and we're ready now to take the risk to put them into the first team squad to see if they can push on and go from there because let's not forget Perone is very highly rated at Manchester City. He spent half of last season around the Manchester City first team squad. So clearly rated. They've loaned him out to a good team in La Liga. And he's doing very well there as well, which is brilliant to see. We've got a gaping hole in defensive midfield. And we've got a player that potentially could help us with a little bit of depth there as well. So do City want to explore that? As I said, remember, he will have to be registered. Won't be counting as being homegrown either. So you do have them confident complicated issues and what Manchester City may want to choose to do from there. I don't expect Man City to be selling Peroni on a permanent basis this summer. I think they may look towards a loan and if they do, Premier League surely would make sense. Where would he go? Who would be interested? That remains to be seen and that's something for me to really get my teeth into when we get on with the daily Manchester City transfer updates from June throughout the whole summer transfer window. Now, I want to speak about Jan Kuto, soon to be 22-year-old Brazilian right-back on loan at Girona, uh, famed with his pink hair over uh, in Girona as well. He's helped Girona leaps and bounds this season. They're on the verge of Champions League football next season, in particular should Spain get the five Champions League spots available. They could even, in their own merit, seal a top-four finish with a strong finish to the season as well. They did have a very strong start. It was looking like they may be able to compete right at the top of La Liga and potentially win La Liga they are starting to fall off a little bit now but still looking pretty good for Champions League football next season for Girona which part of the City Football Group is absolutely brilliant to see uh, so one of their standout players has been Jan Kuto 69% of starts in all their games so far in La Liga 27 appearances scored one goal and assisted eight for a fullback doing very well surely Manchester City are going to utilise Jan Kuto in the summer and give him at least pre-season to showcase what we can do because there's talk that Manchester City are going to spend millions on a fullback this summer. A player that can play competitively with Kyle Walker because Kyle Walker's getting no younger. And we have got a brilliant option here with Jan Kuto and I would love him to be given the opportunity I would love him to have pre-season I'd love him to have a season with the Manchester City first team squad with Pep Guardiola to showcase what he can do see what level he's at and where we can go from there because Jan Kuto could just save us I'm talking 50 60 million pounds here that's money that could be invested into Manchester City's squad in terms of midfield, in extra depth, in other positions, elsewhere around the club and into the CFG as well. It's a whopping amount of money that can be saved should Manchester City choose to do so here with Jan Kuto. Now, this stinks to me of Man City selling for profit, and I really hope that that doesn't happen because Jan Kuto, I rate him. I think he's a class player. I think he's a brilliant player. He will help Manchester City in terms of our depth, and I think he could provide quality competitive competition when it comes to potentially playing in that right back spot the only reservation Jan Kuto may have is a bit of fear when it comes to his playing time and Man City's formation how he's going to slot in and how he's going to fit in because we've already got a young player Rico Lewis at Manchester City that will probably do the same job as what Jan Kuto would do as well so you have to be versatile you have to be able to play in different positions Jan Kuto's a right back can probably do a job at right wing back can he play at left back? Can he invert? Can he get into defensive midfield? Could he play at centre back like we've seen from Kyle Walker? These are the questions. And to me, you've got to you've just you've got to take that risk at some point. You've got to bank on these young players and say, these are our players of the future. This is the depth that we've got. We don't want to keep going out there and spending 30, 40, 50 million pounds on squad players. We don't need to. We're investing a heck of a lot of money into our academy, into bringing in some of the very best top talents, young top talents from around the world. You've got to find a way of getting these players into the City First Team squad. And I'm not suggesting that they're going to be able to break into the City First Team because that's a different kettle of fish. That's a very difficult thing to do. But City are crying out for depth. Our squad is stretched thin and I think there's young players, Perone, Jan Kuto. These are players that deserve at least 
pre-season as far as I'm concerned to showcase what they could do and move and go from there. Pre-season's already been announced for City. We're going to be playing four games. It's, it's a game more than what City normally play in pre-season. If we win the FA Cup and or the Premier League, we'll be playing in the Community Shield. So you've got five games before we hit into any competitive action. And that's plenty of time and plenty of minutes there for young, high-quality players like Perone, like Yankuto, to showcase what they can do to see if they can be that depth that Manchester City are looking for. And they're not the only young players out there on loan at this moment in time that are doing really well at a very high level. As I said, it smells of Man City making profit and selling for uh, big fees here uh, as a great way of generating uh, bigger and better net spend for Manchester City. But it would be good to be able to get at least one or two of these players that are out on loan into the first team squad to showcase what they can do. That would be absolutely brilliant to see. So we'll see what the future does hold there for Perone and Yankuto, but both seem to be doing very well. I don't think I'd rule out potentially uh, both Perone and Yankuto going to Girona again and helping them in a campaign in La Liga and in the Champions League as well. Will it be permanent or not? We'll have to wait and see. Relations with City and Girona, of course, both part of the CFG, uh, currently at an all-time high uh, and doing very well. Well, so we'll see. So there we go. That has been today's video loan report number two. I have already done loan report number one. It's already out on my channel if you want to go and check it out. We'll be back again tomorrow for loan report number three for you guys to enjoy. So I will see you then. So if you are enjoying the content, please do leave a thumbs up. Also, don't forget to let me know your thoughts in the comments below. Do subscribe as well if you're new around here. Press that red button, press the bell and put your push notifications on. Social media links, they're in the description if you want to go and follow me on my Twitter, Instagram and TikTok. Email also in the description too if you want to hit me up for any sponsorships or any videos or any general business inquiries and thank you very much to Football Prize is sponsoring today's video remember go and check out that frame signed Edison Manchester City shirt link is in the description £3.99 to enter for a ticket for you to be in with a chance of winning that fantastic prize along with 23 other instant prizes to be won as well so thank you very much to Football Prizes for sponsoring this video and I will see you guys again tomorrow for the next daily Manchester City loan report. So I've been JSGC. Thank you everyone for watching. I hope everyone is safe and well. Peace. Ciao for now.